so it is what day are we on? Friday. Friday. Woo! And we got back fine yesterday. I didn't do any vlogging after we got back. Um, because we were both a bit tired and we just got some takeaway, munched some of it, and then went to bed after watching. What are we watch? A lot of murder she wrote. A lot of murder she wrote and some bones. Oh my god, I think it was the end of a season on bones. It was very exciting. Jesus. But anyway, um, yeah, we are now. <laughs> Diamond is laughing at me. So we just did a few messages this morning and we're now on our way to Hampshire. Um, Liphook in Hampshire. We're staying at the Old Thorn and something or other. Come say hello. This will be going up after we've been there. I know, it's fucking say, come say hello. <laughs> so, I'll buy you all dinner if you meet us this weekend. Yeah, if you, if you see this, <laughs> no, but we'll have already been and gone. Um, oh, I really missed out on dinner. So it's quite nice, we've got the hire car, not the hire car, work car, which is a lovely BMW, so it's quite nice cruising along. And it was a beautiful day, which you can probably see from all the sunshine shining in. And yeah, that is it. I slept through, there was supposed to be a really um, big thunder and lightning storm last night. Like, we're talking like there was over 200 strike lightning strikes or something yeah, ridiculous. very cool. I'm shame I couldn't be asked to get out of bed and have a look. Yeah, Simon was just like, I can hear it, but he was going to record it and then just didn't get out of bed. So I bad. slept through the entire thing. That's not like me at all. I'm a very light sleeper, but I have been just so tired and I'm gradually catching up with my sleep. So I'm starting to feel more and more human as the week goes on. But, oh yeah, I slept through the whole thing, which is a shame. It would have been so cool to see it or at least hear it. Oh well. But yes, we is on our way and we will take you, we'll do some bits and pieces. I'm not sure what all we're going to do. We might just chill out and hang around the hotel or go do some National Trust things or go for a swim. They've got a nice swimming pool and oh. gym and stuff. So we might just hang out really and chill a bit and vegetate in the lovely, beautiful sunniness. Unless, until we get bored and go, let's go somewhere, let's go somewhere, let's go yeah. somewhere. <laughs> Which is highly likely. We tend to get bored. Um, but yes, so... It's been a few, fun few days in Brussels. It was really good. And now it's, I'm ready for a few more days relaxing in Hampshire. So that is it. We'll catch up with you later on. Bye. That's a bye. 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 So we've arrived safely in our old Thorns Hotel in one piece. Um, just about. We're going to load the time. Uh, it's quite a posh place, it would seem. So, yes. Anyway, so this is our bedroom. We've already debunked a wee bit. And our bed, obviously. Pretty pretty picture on the wall. And a Simon. Simon's not a picture on the wall, that'd be weird. Huge TV. Obviously a wardrobe and stuff. And in here, is the bathroom. So yeah. But yes, we're gonna go and Go get some lunch somewhere. Not entirely sure where. We'll go for a spin. Don't know if fancy eating here just today. Maybe tomorrow. Yes, isn't that right, Simon? Ooh. Yes. Close up of your face. <laughs> On that note, we're going to go and get some lunch. But yes, quite impressed with the hotel. It's very pretty. It's a shame. It's so funny. At the window, they're clearly still building. So out the window, there's all this building work still going there's on. A, um, there's the ultimate 90s tribute act on tonight. There's the what? Ultimate 90s tribute act. It's all sold out there. Oh, damn. Damn and blast. Mm. Yeah. No, close the show going now. But yes, a lot of work's going on outside our window, which is a wee bit annoying, but that's life. So yes, we're just going to go. We'll catch up with you again soon. Where did you say we were? Eastbourne. Eastbourne? Eastbourne. 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 Oh yeah, I don't know if you can see. Just there. We found a random little pub. We just decided to drive around until we find somewhere. And we found somewhere. I've just ordered some food. Just having some beverages. Oh, the one. Yeah, I'm having some beverages. Just take this time, she has a drink. Yeah. Very exciting. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful little country pub. 
any last bit location? Well, that's the car park, but there's more seating at the back as well. Lunch. Scampi, chips, salad, tartar sauce. How cute sweet are. No, oh, tartar sauce. <laughs> I still think that's a swear word. Tasty. So, we are now just waiting on a bit of lunch. Can we have a Simon? Hello. Hello together. Uh, we went for a bit of a swim. They have a lovely um, swimming pool area and like a wellness area where there's a sauna and a steam room and a hot tub and an ice bucket shower and what else? An ice fountain. You wish it's just ice. And there was a lot of ice and a jacuzzi type thing. A lovely view. So we're just sitting outside at the minute and you've got sort of golf course. Yeah, just sort of a putting. Green. No, green. No, shoot. See how far you can hit it. Oh, right, 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 right. A driving range. That's all. So there's a driving range um, and some other bits. But yeah, it's lovely. It was really nice to have a shower. Good. Haven't had a, a swim since we just realised this since Dusseldorf, since uh, we went to the World Championships a wee while ago, which is a long time ago. A couple, what, two years ago? That's a long time. Like last time I had a swim in a swimming pool, as opposed to just in the sea. Um, so that was really nice. We've just ordered some food. I ordered a salad and Simon went with a steak ciabatta. It sounded really good. I was actually half tempted to buy a hamburger, but I think I need a salad. Fancy it. <laughs> and what else? Not much else at the minute. We're just going to have these drinks. We might go into the champagne bar for some cocktails after we eat and just chill out, just really enjoy it. Try and live the Belgian Parisian lifestyle in a, <laughs> in a golf course in What was Hampshire. that? Try and live the Parisian Belgian <laughs> life. Sit outside bars and restaurants drinking lots of beer. Yeah. At yeah. a golf course. It is a beautiful day for it. Where well, there's a dress code for some of the restaurants. Yeah, there's a dress code. It has to be a smart casual. <laughs> we did not come prepared. <laughs> yeah, we were not prepared for that. We thought it was just pretty, you know, relaxed, but... It's quite a posh. Yeah, gap. it's very posh, which is lovely, you know. I think it costs my work about 300 quid for us first time. That's mental. But yes, we're very they, they owe me a lot, though. The amount yeah. of crap I've been through. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Simon's worked hard for this, and it's worth it. We get to chill out. So, yes. And tomorrow we'll possibly go to Portsmouth? Yeah. To Portsmouth? Yeah. You're already shot, we're sitting too far apart. That's right. And the mysterious voice like the mysteries. This is the voice of Mr. Gumbel. I hope they can hear you probably because I'm still a bit, I've got waterlogged in my ears, so I'm not sure if I've I need two little circles to go across. This is the voice of Mr. Gumbel. Seven, you've just been weird. If you're over the age of 30, you might get the whole Captain Scarlet reference there. Effects going on my hair as well. Is that better? You can see now. Pretty slick. Uh, yeah, tomorrow we might go to Portsmouth and have a potter about and uh, maybe some shopping. Not really some much shopping, but just have a bottle about. Give me a tie so I can walk in the golf course. Yeah, get, get some in a tie. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we can go for a walk in the golf course. We'll do that later. We'll, we'll have a chance of balls hit us in the head. Yeah. But yeah, so yeah, having a lovely relaxing time of it. It's really good. Very much needed. Isn't it so funny? My skin's all starting to settle back down again after the wedding. The week before the wedding, I just could I was getting nowhere with my skin. It was just not painful. Oh well, I'm not relaxed. Yes. But yes. <laughs> right, we'll catch up with you in a wee bit. Lots of cocktails here. Attempting to be slightly healthy, although it is drowning in dressing. Not too bad. And then the salmon with his stick, ciabatta, and chips. Good. I take that as a yes. <laughs> Mine's tasty as well. We're now onto the cocktails. Simon is having a cream dream. Cream dream. It's like a B52. Ramaretto, Serrano, vodka, Bacardi. Yeah, I did look at it. And then it looked, the light stuck on top. It looked pretty. It looked tasty, I mean. I've gone for a pear mojito. Which looks pretty goddamn good. Although it's not showing up in this light, but it does look good, see? Well, is it nice? Oh, 
Mūsu mīlu šeit. Let's mind that. Oh, mine's quite fresh. I like that. It's very tasty, actually. Would you like to try mine? Yeah, right. See what you think. Don't move it too far, it's very full. Which one do I blow bubbles in? Which one do I drink? Do that? not blow bubbles in my beverage. Nice? Yeah. Not my thing, though. Oh, this is where we went for our swim and stuff earlier. Hang on. So we're now in like the champagne bar bit, which is really quite nice. But I don't know if you can see. Nope, you can't see it all. But in there, there's like a pool and stuff, which you get it from the other side. And it's very nice. And there's um, a jacuzzi there. So it's very pleasant, it's very nice. And there's a wedding going on over there, which they're clearly having fun at. But isn't it lovely? It's just nice and remote and lovely. And it's nice and quiet. Well, like, as in, as in there's not very many people about, which is kind of nice. Isn't that right? Well, not very many people about, which is kind of nice. Apart from like weddings going on over there's there. There's a wedding now and there's a 90s reunion. Tribute act thing in another room. Yeah. This is for the cackling witches. Yes, there was quite a few cackling women. But there's not really anybody out in the bars or anything. No, I think most of the visitors here, that we stay in here after the wedding. Yeah. Or either that. Or the 90s party rather than actual guest guests. Do you know what I mean? You know what I mean, right? I know what I mean. Okay, gonna go drink some cocktails. I'll probably I'm sign off. Be a <laughs> yeah, I would be. All those shots. Take your time with that, sweetie. Um, so we'll probably sign off. Sign off for now. Catch up with them tomorrow. Mm, yeah, unless they want to see me streak across the golf course. I don't think anybody wants to see that, sweetie. You me married and... me, so you must want to. Who? You. I didn't want to see you streak a golf, uh, across a golf course. I really want my brother. No, your brother would probably get upset. Especially holes. if you went on with normal shoes. <laughs> holes in the golf course. Yeah, no. No. There will be no streaking. No. Yeah, so we're going to sign off for today and we'll probably catch up with you tomorrow. Bye. We're not entirely sure why the horse has to have disco lights. I think it's evil. Simon reckons he's evil. Not entirely sure about that. Also, that corridor is beautiful. It's a shame it's all multicolored tonight, but it's lovely. So yeah, that's what this corridor looks like by day. It's actually much nicer. There's a giraffe and a lion on this side. And there's a Simon. So it is... Uh, 13.07. <laughs> Saturday, yes. <laughs> it's Saturday. Simon's very weird. Um, oh, we've been married almost a week in a few hours. Uh, we had a nice morning, went and got some breakfast, and then went to the gym for just over an hour. They have a really cool, it's called Free Climb or Free Climber. It's like a bouldering wall that rotates. Um, and we had to go on that. Simon spent most of his time that. I did some other stuff, and then and I went to get on that. 10 minutes and then 50 minutes on that. Yeah, 10 minutes running, 50 minutes on the climber thing. Um, I did other stuff, and then went to the climber thing, and went and wish I had spent more time on the climber thingy. It was fun. I'll insert a clip of us faffing on it now. It's really quite fun. Ah! <laughs> okay. Simon, Simon got himself some blisters. He wasn't impressed with the blisters. So it didn't work out. Yeah. I think. Uh, we. What are we doing now? 
we are going to. Oh my god! Excuse me. Yes, we are on our way to Portsmouth. We might do a wee bit of shopping, possibly, maybe a lot of window shopping, mostly. Uh, check out the. Is it the Queen Mary? What's it called? Uh, well, the Dunwall Key is the place we're going to. Yeah, what's the name of the, the boat thing that you said? Uh, H-M-C-E Enterprise, I don't know. Seven, yeah. There's a Mary, the Mary Rose is there. Mary Rose, one. that's it. And then there's another boat, basically, big sailboats. Really big, back in the day. So if I check those out, it, the weather is a bit meh today, so we may get rained on. It's very, it, excuse me, it's very warm, but there's risks of rain. Of showers. We'll see how we get on. Be nice day out, but I keep you on the other way. Sorry. Oh, it's very rude. Yes, so that is it for now. We will bring you on our day today, maybe. See how we get on. Yes, okay. Touch you in a bit. Touch you in a bit. Bye. Simon stole one of my chips and it is burning his mouth. Oh no, he stole my chili sauce. Sweet chili sauce. Thank you. That's another minute. Yeah, I've gone with a lobster and crab burger. Simon went with pulled pork. Pulled pork burger thing, chips, a lot of mayonnaise for some reason. Oh, yeah. that bad boy's coming off. Yeah, we're gonna just have our have our lunch. We're absolutely starving. We were stuck in traffic for at least 30 minutes. It took us a while to get here, but we're here. I'm gonna have lunch and then go shopping. So we were very bad bloggers, vloggers, I should say, and didn't vlog our day. You can probably tell by my hair. I was trying on a lot of clothes. Simon uh, was very patient and generally kept me company, but wandered off and looked at blokey stuff. Which is <laughs> Just not your style. Really? There, was, there was some great shots. The stuff that was my style was like 200 quid. I've got an expensive taste, but I'm a very cheap person. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's the problem, damn it. Um, Saturday warm up, top 20. Doosh, 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 doosh. Which, no. Uh, so I got this pink top. I don't know if you can see in the mirror. It's just a pinky sort of uh, look down here. They go sort of. It's this light baby pink kind of thing to go with some shorts. I'll show you what I got. Hang on. We popped into All Saints, which is generally a very expensive shop. And I got this dress. Just wait five minutes. Oh. Was your hand? Yes, that'd be good. I got this dress, and it's got it, a large pocket on the front. Yeah. It's not. You hold it up. It's kind of like a wrap over dress, but it's not. It kind of wraps up for, over for you, so it's actually really quite flattering on. It it hugs my figure quite nicely, and that was down from what was it originally? Ridiculous money. It was originally one hundred and eighteen pounds, and I got it for like thirty five, I think, in the end. Big pocket. Which is still expensive, really, but it's nice. It looks really nice. And we went to Jack Willis, where I finally got a denim shirt I like. I've been looking for a nice denim shirt. And I've got this one. It's kind of denim. Sort of cottony looking. And that's it there. It kind of looks like denim when you look at it. But it's cotton. And you can move your arms about like that if you like. It's just a full length arm thing and it was £19. What was it originally? 15. It was 59.50, and then it was down to 39 and then it was down again to 19 And it's clearly good vanity sizing on that one because that's a size 10 and I'm generally a size 12. And then we were in Jules, which is where I got this pink t-shirt. I got fluffy socks. I've been looking for extra fluffy socks. Fluffy socks that are fluffy on the inside and on the outside. And these are it. So I'm very pleased about that. And I got these shorts, which Simon is a uh, model modelling for me, um, which I think are just absolutely beautiful. And these are originally uh, forty-five pound in the shop, and then they're down to twenty-four ninety-five. So we went to the out they're all outlets, so are uh, you know like a discount outlet. But yeah, these are nice. They're nice, actually, really heavy quality and stuff. So yes, we were bad vloggers and didn't really vlog any of it. Bold vlogger. Bo bold Simon. I'm telling Simon off. You look like that, eh? Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to look back in the mirror again. Yes, so... But it was a nice day. We sort of potted about a lot. We went into lots of different shops. But <laughs> Simon's just been selling behind me. 
Went to don't you dare, pillow Simon. Fight. No, not pillow fight. No, no to pillow fights. Yeah, I was wearing a, like a light green jumper earlier on, but it was so warm today because it was supposed to be like rainy and stuff, and I thought oh, it might get a bit cold, but no, it just got warmer and warmer and warmer. So I bought this in Jules to go with those shorts and a top, uh, another skirt I have. And I just had to change after a wee bit because I was changing in and out of clothes and getting warmer and warmer. And I'm not entirely sure what's... Uh, <laughs> this is what happens when I leave him unattended. Honestly, folks. Seriously, he was... But he was look, so that was on there. <laughs> He's got beer sitting there. He could just send it off flying. But no, let's not think about that. Um... Yeah, it was lovely. It was nice to go to an outlet place. Went into loads of different shops and there was some nice things, but just nothing that really grabbed me. And I'm getting better at sort of being, it has to be a definite yes or a, it's, it's a no. And it was, those things were nice. I'm quite pleased with the bits that I bought. I might actually wear, oh, excuse me. I think I might wear this tonight because it's kind of warm, but it's also not. It is a round neck, which normally doesn't suit me, but because this sweeps across, it kind of, meh, I don't know. I think it's nice. I might show you what it's like on. And it does have a split there where it wraps over. So it's not a real split, it's just where it wraps over. But yes, like that. Like it? Simon liked it. I liked it. I liked it. But yeah, i got to go now. I've got a Bailey sitting. Oh, I'm sleepy. I might have to have a cup of tea. Oh, my Bailey's. And put this stuff away again. And stuff. Oh, sure, I really food. That's our, our mess of stuff. Yeah, have our billies and then get ready to go out and have food. Okie dokie, we will try and do a wee bit of vlogging later, maybe. We've not been very good. <laughs> We're too busy just chilling and relaxing, so. Yeah, gonna shoot on for now. High fives. Catch you later. We'll say bye. Not look strange at the camera. Say bye. Bye. Adios, bye bye. Munch too. Our last, our last meal in the hotel before we go. I went with a mint pea risotto. Simon went with a pie, pie and mash, and a bit of salad. Um, we did actually go to like what we thought was the fancy restaurant, and they were serving a carberry, which is fine for Sunday lunch. It's a Saturday night. So, a bit disappointed in that front. I thought there'd be some really fancy food. It would appear not. So, we're just eating in the sports bar. We've got wine. We've got our food. It's really empty. So, we're going to enjoy it and munch away. Good morning. So, it's Sunday and we're on our way back. And we've kind of taken a back way home, which is kind of cool. Accidentally. But it's really on very purpose. nice. We're exploring. We're never lost. Yes, we're not lost. We've got GPS. But <laughs> it's quite cool. What do you see? It's all one, well, we're not at a cool bit now. I should have recorded some of the cooler bits. But uh, by cool, I mean just very beautiful, very picturesque because the trees were all overgrown and it's like a one lane road and it was just very, very cool. But yeah, check out how narrow the roads are. For a Super Bowl halftime performance. That's some accolade, isn't it? It's genuinely grace with you. Not typical. I go to record the really cool roads and we come to the end of them. It's yeah, always the way. There might be more. There might be more. But yeah. We're just on our way back now. We're going through Eastbourne, which is where we went for a bit of lunch the other day and had really tasty lunch. Mm, but yeah, we're just on our way back. We're both a bit tired. Can somebody explain to me why hotels insist on early checkouts and like breakfast that finishes at 10 and stuff? Don't they know people are usually there on holidays? Oh, but yeah, we're on our way back to get a few bits sorted and whatnot. Fun, fun, fun. Sit in my pants and watch telly. Woo! Yeah, I think we're both kind of looking forward to. Fingers crossed if I don't have to go to work tomorrow. Fingers crossed sleeping in tomorrow and like not waking up with an alarm. Well, Even I've got to go and drop this bad boy. Yeah, Simon has to go drop the car off. But just this week, we've been off. Oh, excuse me. And we've been up like at just after eight practically every single morning with an alarm it's going wrong. off. It's wrong. It's sick and wrong. We're on honeymoon. We should be sleeping in. Mini moon. Mini moon. Mm -hmm. 
Not honeymoon. Never honeymoon. Never honeymoon. Yeah. We will be, but that's when we get to. So. Are you stuck? No. No, I'm just, just lazy. <laughs> that was trying to kill the car. Um, yeah, we're just on the way back. It's a lovely countryside on the way back, though. It's really quite nice and pleasant. It's a pleasant drive back. And I've gone makeup free, as you can see, because I just could not be bothered. So have I. My face, yeah, my face is just not happy at the moment. Simon, go make it free too. Um, <laughs> Nobody needs to hear about the blush on your butt cheeks, seriously. <laughs> but yeah, we will catch up with you maybe later on when back home and unpacked. Or if we come across some more clear roads, I will record them this time. I was too busy enjoying them last time. So, yeah, anyway, we will catch up soon. Cleaned up the flat, Simon Hoovered and I washed the bathroom, got a little washing done. And one of my favourite vest tops is ruined. The strap was entirely broken, so I'm gonna have to get another one. Um, I'm just about to have myself a little macaroon from Brussels. Simon's still munching his sandwich. Food! Watching a bit of murder she wrote just to catch up myself, have a cup of tea. I feel like I'm meeting myself, I'm so tired. But yeah, we've had a lovely time of it. And now back to reality. I'm gonna have a macaroon, cup of tea, put on some more washing, edit some videos. Chill out, I think. Relax. Timon's catching up on his Let's Play stuff. All the videos. All the videos. But yeah, taking it pretty easy, really. Yeah. <laughs> Go again. Very boring. May pop around later, possibly, maybe. Hope you're having a lovely day. We'll catch you soon. So this is Simon's quark beer that he bought when he was away. 8.4%. Pull the glass out. Or no. So it has a round bottom, mostly. And it's supposed to have a head in it, this. The way they do it is really annoying. <laughs> and it's got a little, for the base of the thing. So Simon is finally getting to enjoy his quark beer. Those are my, that's my bouquet, it's kind of dead. I meant to dry it properly and we've just been away and I entirely forgot, but. Probably not the way to do it. No. <laughs> it's me in the face. It's handy. But yes, just having a bit of food. <laughs>